The Seattle Storm continue to tear it up in the WNBA, pushing their record to 21-2 with a win over Phoenix the other night. And joining us now is Svetlana Abrosimova. And uh, talk a little bit about that game the other night against Phoenix, because you guys were down by 18 at halftime. What happens at halftime that Brian talks to you guys and, and you come out in the second half and just make a run? Well, I felt like it was two different teams playing. The first half, uh, we showed all the worst things we could do. We were not aggressive, we didn't play good defense, and we were missing all the shots. The second half, obviously, we regrouped. You know, Brian talked to us, and um, Sue Bird had a really nice talk, nice speech in the locker room, and we were just fired up. We just wanted to come out and just play great in front of our fans, because I felt like in the first half, we didn't, we didn't play aggressively enough. So Sue gets up in front of the team, and, and she did. does she, she did. rip into you guys, or was it more motivational? I can't tell you, but it was great. That's exactly what we needed at that point. Yes. Okay. All right, good. We'll keep in the locker room. Um, you know, last year, uh, you took the WNBA off, the season off. 2009, did not yes. play in the WNBA. Um, it, it's one of those things where I know the women play off-season over in Russia. Um, there's a lot of action in the off-season. The WNBA is actually a shorter season, but a lot of games. Mm -hmm. uh, what made you take that season off just to kind of take a break? I needed a little break from the league, from a lot of traveling, and um, I wanted to stay at home. I wanted to play for my national team, and um, it was just a lot of a lot of basketball going on for me. And I needed a little break. I needed two months off, and uh, it really helped me. I came back here um, refreshed. I was ready to go, and mentally, it helped a lot. And then when you talk about playing for your country, you know, in 2008, Russia won the uh, the bronze medal. Uh, at the Olympics. Um, what's it like playing for your country? Because a lot of us, most of us, will never know what that feels like. Well, I've played for my national team for the last 10 years, so um, I feel like this is the number one team for me, obviously, the national team. And um, when you play for the Olympics, you know, it doesn't matter what you do there, the whole country is behind you. So it's, you feel that pride. It's just amazing when you step on the court, put your uniform in, and you know your whole family, the country, is, everybody's cheering for you. That's that's when that's why you start playing basketball when you're a little kid. That's the number one motivation because you want to get to that level. You want to you want to play in the Olympics, in the World Championships, and represent your country. Yeah. So now you come back to the WNBA. Brian Agler actually coached you in Minnesota. Yes, he uh, did. You know, Swin Cash was your teammate at UConn. So when you reached out to the Storm to play for, you wanted to play for Seattle, didn't you? Yes, I did. I talked to my agent and I told him specifically I'm very interested in Seattle because um, I knew Brian from, you know, I worked with him for three years. He knew my game. I also played with Sue and Swin in college. I played with Lauren Jackson overseas. I was very familiar with the players and... Um, when you want to win a championship, you have to have experienced players on the, on the floor. And um, I felt like we have one of the smartest players in the league and the most experienced too. So I think it's working. The combination is perfect. And I feel really comfortable with the players and with the coaching staff too. I don't think people realize that it does take, you hear that word chemistry thrown out there yes, so much. Yes. You can have all the talent in the world, but if, you're, if there's infighting or you guys don't get along, uh, there's going to be a problem, but you guys absolutely get along, and there's just a real good feeling on this Storm team, isn't there? It is, and it takes, it's not that easy to get, even though you can be playing together for 10 years, but it depends if you have a smart players on the, on the floor, if you have um, unselfish players, and uh, obviously having Sue Bird on the team helps tremendously because she's one of the smartest one point guards. And um, she organizes everything. She controls a lot of things on the floor. Obviously, you have coach who does it, but when you have a point guard who is so knowledgeable about the game that helps everybody around, and you have a Lauren Jackson, who is the best post player in the world also. So you just need to fill out the little you know, spots on the court and help them out. That's how, that's how it works. Yeah, well, it's working for you guys now. Again, trying to push your record to 22-2. and two. You get Chicago tomorrow night at the Key. Uh, one of the only teams that has beat you this season. Is that a little extra uh, motivation tomorrow night? Obviously, yes, yes. <laughs> I remember that game. Um, you know, we, we lost to Chicago before, and we played horrible. We were just, I don't know what, what was wrong with us, but we just didn't look ourselves and they beat us and they were really aggressive and uh, they played great offensively we couldn't stop uh, stop them stop their penetration so we've been talking about our defense lately especially playing against Chicago right, tomorrow night you get a shot at Chicago and try and uh, uh, I don't know, exact a little bit of revenge against yes, Chicago definitely. at the key that's a seven o'clock tip at the key Svetlana Abrosimova joining us here on Northwest Sports Night uh, good luck tomorrow night and uh, good luck the rest of the season thank you very much